All right, how are you? It's Fern here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can make your dog enjoy going to the vet. Okay, the question today comes from Angelica. And she writes, any tips on how to desensitize a fearful dog going to the vet? Okay, great question. Go to any vet's office and you're going to see some pretty freaked out dogs. Why? Because it's not always the most pleasurable experience there. They get poked, prodded, maybe stuck with a needle. Same reason my kids don't really love going to the doctor a lot. So how can we work with it? Well, before I talk about how to work with a dog that's fearful, let's talk about working with dogs before they're fearful. Because what we should do is before we see issues, that's when we should treat things. You know, I don't want to wait till there's a problem because that makes it much more difficult. So when I know that we have uh, something that's sensitive that most dogs have problems with, like going to the vet, whether I see a problem or not, I'm going to start to try to make it as great an experience as possible. So assuming your dog, let's start by saying your dog is not that fearful. What you want to do is take him to the vet. When you go there, bring high, high value treats. So for me, every time I go to the vet, I'm armed with freeze dried liver. I used to just wait for the vet, you know, because they always have treats, but their treats, honestly, usually they suck. <laughs> I want high value stuff. So I'm bringing freeze dried liver, bring grilled chicken, bring hot dogs. I don't care. Whatever your dog loves the most, I want, I want the vet to be the place where they get it. So that's where I'm going to go there. I'm going to give him some treats along the way. So for me, for my dog, who, you know, is fine at the vet, who actually just loves people, meeting people, so she loves it there, um, I'll just let her hang out there and I'll give her a treat every once in a while. But then we go into the exam room and she starts getting poked and prodded. I'm giving her liver intermittently as the, as the vet does their thing. You know, don't wait for the vet to do it because they're busy. They got, they got an agenda. They have stuff to do. You bring the treats and give it to your dog as often as possible, you know, um, as often as you need to while you're there, just to make that positive association. And even if it's not the greatest experience, they'll voluntarily do it because, wow, they love liver. Now, if your dog is already fearful, it's tricky because you probably got to take him to the vet, you know? So if you got to take him to the vet, we got to go and just try to make it the best we can. If your dog is very fearful, they probably won't take food. So if that's the case, if your dog is really freaked out at the vets, he's not going to take that chicken or that hot dog. So you could experiment and if your dog won't take the food, it means he's too freaked out. It means the stimulus is too much. So what I would recommend doing, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but I would take him to the vet when you don't have to get an exam and see where he starts to freak out. Is it the, the parking lot? If that's the case, I'm just going to work with him in the parking lot. Maybe practice some basic obedience, giving him that high impact rewards just there. And then we're going to go home and then I'll come back again. Maybe this time I make it into the lobby. Just say, hey, everybody, how you doing? Give him some treats. He does good. <laughs> Excuse me. We leave. And you just keep coming back, pushing the envelope a little bit to make some positive associations at the vet instead of just negative ones. Anxiety and fearful is a tough, long rehab. So, you know, it's hard to see those big results because often we got to take them to the vet and they got to do their thing. So you want to try to work on this stuff when the vet doesn't have to really do a lot of stuff to them. And like you said, you don't even really have to go into the office. Just go in the lobby. You know, pick a time where it's not too crowded and just spend you know, not a long time, a couple of minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you got, and just try to change the association to the vet. All right. I hope that helps. If you like this and want some more tips, sign up for my email list. You can find the link somewhere here. I'll send you lots of goodies. All right. Take care. I'll see you soon.